Many years ago, they were like this, sat here and played here. They are old boys of government secondary school, Afibu. The school is 66 years old. Pa James Chukwemeka Michael Okaro was a pioneer student. The very first class of that school. So very little was prepared. In fact, we didn't even start in September when uh, you know, schools used to st start for state schools. We started uh, in February. The buildings and uh, accesses had not all been done and things like that. We had to go to the stream to fetch water in the morning and also in the evening make sure I bring one a bucket for the cook. There's one radio. Five students will go and take BBC reports and everything and so forth and write it by the morning, paste it on the school wall so that everybody can go and read the history, <laughs> yeah. I mean the, the news of the, past, of the last day. Today, many of them occupy exalted positions. The current governor of Ebony uh, State, Sanon Boy, the immediate past minister for energy, Chinedu Nebo. Incidentally, we were classmates. Professor A.B. Simosu was also at the national level. The immediate past leader of the cultural Igbo group, ONS and Igbo, belongs to this uh, government secondary school Igbo association. Incidentally, he was also a classmate of mine. So we have really come up at the national level as well as regional level. They say they can't forget their alma mater in a hurry. There was so much discipline then. At this stage, I was like, oh boy. Is this what I had gone myself into? But um, one thing helped us a great deal at that time. Our principal, the so rest in peace, uh, GC Akapa was tough. Uh, we felt it was too tough on us, but we can now see the, the result of the discipline instilled in us. When we were in Africa, we had students coming all over from all zones in Nigeria, from all states in Nigeria, from all regions in Nigeria to Afibo. And those who went there before us even had students from the Cameroons, Sierra Leone, and other parts of uh, Africa. Because of the structure of the school, the excellence in the school, the commitment of the teachers, the commitment of the system, and the hierarchy of um, academic excellence and the comradeia that goes with it all. It was a complete and amazing institution. In terms of facilities, in terms of teachers, in terms of comportment, in terms of discipline, we got it all from there. Discipline and that knack for ensuring that you actually not only pass through the school, but the school will also pass through you. There are many branches of the Old Boys Association of Government Secondary School, Afibu. This is the Lagos branch. They meet once in two months. This is their last meeting for the year 2018. They deliberated on issues about the school. Over the years, Lagos branch has contributed in no small measure to the growth and development of the school. She's now resting on her hours. We also have our own plans to bring up programs that will be sponsored by the Lagos branch. What you've seen here today is just a little fraction of the total membership. Our goal is to bring together as many of our members as possible. They paid tribute to late Chief Debe Odumegu Juku, the first son of the warlord. Dim Chukwemeka Odumegu Juku, he was an old boy. They observed a minute silence for him. Some of their wives came. Mr. Kem Oswago, the president of Lagos branch, played host. It was a time to share and bond. The old boys of government secondary school, Afibu, assist one another in many ways. They still hold on to the motor of the school, which is fear God, honor the king.